What's the science of bruising? For me, a bruised science person. Okay, yesterday at a softball game, I got hit by a line drive that bounced off a gopher hole and into my face. Great opportunity to talk about the science of bruising. How do our bodies heal? Let's see what happens over the next 10 days. I'm gonna have the voiceover do most of this because it hurts to talk. I can't smile all the way, but I want to because science is cool. A bruise is also called a contusion. It's an area of injured skin or tissue where the capillaries have been ruptured. Bruises form when an impact, like a softball, hits the body hard enough to crush the little blood vessels under the skin, and those capillaries leak out blood that pools underneath the skin. On lighter skin tones, like mine with less melanin, the colors of a bruise shine through, like this shiner. First it's red or pink, and then it's blue or blackish, and then green, and then yellow, then brown before it disappears. Why all of these colors and why in that order? When the softball first hits, you'll see my face there is pretty red. That blood is fresh out of the capillaries. The hemoglobin was carrying oxygen to other organs. But then once they're waylaid out of the capillaries, the hemoglobin deoxygenates. So it turns bluish black, like in a vein. There's our term black and blue. 24 hours post hit. Pretty cute. Swelling's down, jaw pain is up. But it doesn't stop there. This is when immune cells come in like a cleanup crew. Enzymes in those cells break down the hemoglobin into to heme, which is black and contains iron, and another molecule called biliverdin, which is green. Biliverdin is a bile pigment that gives bile its greenish color. You can see some of that lovely green right here. Biliverdin breaks down into bilirubin, which is yellow. It is actually what makes your poop brown. If you've ever heard of bilirubin in relation to jaundice, it's the same stuff which is why I look a little jaundiced in that whole cheek and jaw area. I didn't play the next week, but at least I could cheer them on. Go sports. It has traveled down my face also, thanks to gravity. If the bruise had been above my eye, it might've made my eye bloodshot. All right, 10 days later. I'm presenting at a conference today, so I was hoping it would be a little bit better by now. We're also launching our production company website. So if you see a LinkedIn post about Cool Jacket Productions, just know that this is behind it. Yellow's almost gone. Bodies are cool. Eventually the Billy Rubin gets cleared away and then we're left with just the iron, which is brown. And eventually that gets cleared away too. Two weeks later, that bruise was pretty close to gone and I was physically okay enough to play the all-star game. Sophie got smashed in the face two weeks ago and had amazing black eyes. She's the official badass of the season. This timeline varies from person to person and even from bruise to bruise. So there's no hard and fast rule for recovery, unlike a softball, which is surprisingly hard and fast. By day 21, all signs are pretty much gone. And dare I say, I came out stronger for it. Maybe a little mentally rattled, and I did have a mild concussion that kind of shows up in those first few days. But the human body is amazingly resilient, and life is about getting back up to play, you know? Hey! Stay safe out there, scientists, and have fun.